to Studio B. It's like 6 something in the morning, so I'm not all hyper right now. I'm really excited, but it's 6.30 and I don't look very excited. But I'm really excited through the 6.30 look. So I just woke up and I'm going to start with breakfast. Mom, where's Cooper? breakfast. We usually have waffles, pancakes, homemade fresh muffins, or cereal. Right now we're having waffles. Hey, waffles good, Cooper? Mm-hmm. Now it's time to go make our lunches. So we're in our garage right now, which might seem a little bit odd because one, our garage is a gym, so we've got a bunch of gym stuff all over. And two, what are we doing in the morning trying to get our lunches in the garage? Well, my mom packs a bunch of muffins and sandwiches and fruit and other stuff for our lunches. And she puts it out here so that we can just take a walk out and grab whatever we want. All right, Cooper, over here. So what I have is a toast sandwich, uh, a chocolate granola bar, and pirate booties. And what I have in my lunch is a celery and peanut butter snack. I have Bay Bell cheese. I really like this cheese. Soft and chewy granola bar. And I've also got a peanut butter and honey sandwich. And one of my mom's homemade muffins. I got a Roxy lunch pail while my mom was in, um, where was she? She was, uh... Not Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Vegas. When mom was in Las Vegas, she got this for me, and I just love it. I love Roxy, and I love turquoise, and it's an awesome lunch pail. And she got a Star Wars one for me, which I love. We're running on my teeth. <laughs> so today I'm just going to wear my hair down. And right now I'm brushing it to just make sure all the tangles are out. I just straightened it to make sure that it's extra smooth. There's actually going to be a lot of firsts today. It's our first day of school. It's our first time going on the bus. It's my first time rotating a lot of classes. And Cooper's first grade. <laughs> I'm really excited for school and the bus is coming right now so we're waiting for the bus right now. Oh, it's coming close. forward. No, it's close. I'm so excited. Ah, get in line! Have you been on the bus before? No. no. Only on a field trip. So the first thing we do when we get home from school is we usually make a smoothie and a small snack. Usually last night's leftovers because one, mom makes really good dinners. <laughs> But two, yes, we already had lunch at school, but we are still hungry because it had been like th two or three hours after we'd had lunch. So we're a little hungry when we get home. Right now, I'm making a strawberry pineapple smoothie with some delicious honey to sweeten it up. Here it is. That's enough. Of course we need party straws. Mmm. Mm. Yum. This smoothie is really refreshing and cool from a hot day, and it's really sweet. So this is one of our favorite dishes. It's called Swedish meatballs. We make it homemade. It's delicious. It's got these saucy egg noodles fettuccine so they're really long and thick and 
yummy. And we also have the Swedish meatballs, which are delicious. So my first day at school was half good and half bad. The half good part is that I love my teacher. My teacher is amazing, and we get to do a society thing where everyone has jobs and we get to make money. And on the first day of each month, we also get to do like a farmer's market thing where we get to bring in something and sell it for even more money. And that is just one more excuse for me to bake. And I am probably going to be making brookies. Now for the half not so good part. My, mo most of my class, well, some of my class is not very good. Some of my class is crawling on the ground and screaming during math time. And, <laughs> and that isn't exactly what I think as a Scotland. So <laughs> it was just a little bit hard to focus, but that also meant that I was, well, I was a little bit relieved because I thought that all the math would be too hard for me and the language arts would just be too much. But actually, I got the highest score on writing and math. So I was very relieved about that. So now it's almost time for me and Cooper to go to coding because me and Cooper do coding on Mondays because it's like a bunch of computer stuff. And right now we are working on making a electronic circus which I think is really cool. Me and my partner have made this amazing roller coaster, which is made out of magnets, and it uses the magnets to, well, have you ever heard of this train? And it goes super fast because it isn't touching anything. There's magnets on the bottom that repel the magnets on the track. So it basically floats, and that's what we're doing with ours. So now it floats and it goes really fast. We've made the engine out of little bits and a bunch of other electronic stuff, and it's amazing. We've got a bunch of LED lights that we programmed to come on, kind of motion censored when it went through the tunnel, which I think was really cool. It took a lot of hard work, and I hope we win the contest. So we're at our coding class at our library and we're ready to go code. So school is out and we're done with coding. So now we're celebrating by going on a trip to Denny's. I am getting a tilapia with um, like a salsa almost and avocados. And we're all gonna split a Oreo milkshake. It's bedtime now, and the first day of school was so much better than I thought. I was so nervous, but when I got to school, I wasn't. I thought I was not going to like my teacher, but she is amazing, and I love her. And I've made so many new friends in class already. But now it's the third day. And while I was at school, my tooth started wiggling. And I started wiggling it with my tongue. And as soon as I got home, because it was an early out day, I just spent like, three hours in the bathroom wiggling it really hard. It hurt a lot and it bled a lot. And finally, guess what happened? I thought I had lost pretty much all my teeth except for like my wisdom teeth because those usually don't even come out. But turns out I'm wrong <laughs> and I still have my canine tooth. And I got so scared because I thought it was one of my permanent tooth and I'm like, Dad, it's wiggling, my permanent tooth is gonna come out. And he's like, it's not a permanent tooth. <laughs> and all while I was wiggling it and everything, my dad was all like, oh, it's a permanent tooth, like eight times. And then when mom got home, when mom got back, she said, oh, that's a permanent tooth. I don't see another tooth. And I was like, Mom, Dad already said that like eight times. So <laughs> I'm not going to be fooled anymore. And so I'm waiting for the tooth fairy now. And I brush that tooth and it looks like a pearl. And I don't know, but I think that the tooth fairy is going to pay me big bucks for a tooth that white. I take good care of my teeth if you're the tooth fairy watching. So see us next time on Studio B. Meanwhile, 
I need to go to bed. I have to wake up at like six 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 in the morning. I need to go to bed. Can you turn off the lights, Mom?